Ron Winchester. This is Ron Winchester. We are doing Artemis Fowl by Andrew. Owen Colfer. Andrew. By. Uh, by. Eoin Colfer. Yeah. <laughs> Eoin Colfer, or how his name, I think, wants to be pronounced, Owen Colfer. It's 15 years of conditioning. 15 years of Andrew not hearing it and reading it only and thinking it's Eoin Colfer. Because I read. Because Andrew feels. Indeed. In his jellies. Anyway. (laughs) Wait. We all know Simon. Simon's been on here before. Simon, say hi. Hello. All right. We have a brand new person, never been on before, but he's been part of our miscreant group for many, many years, Mr. Jang. Hi, Lo. By the way, dude, um, before we start, a uh, very short tangent. So for all who can't realize, Andrew's Chinese. And I saw a movie the other day called The Big Short. It's all about the real estate crash of 2008, 2009, right? Ooh. And there's a scene in it where this guy, he like he knows, like he figures out, oh, like this crash is coming. Right. So Uh he goes to this like mini firm to be like, yo, this crash is coming. We should like do, you know, X, Y, and Z to like make a lot of money on the Uh crash. Right. They're like, where's your proof? And he's like, do you see my accountant? Look at his eyes. Uh He's He's Chinese. His last name is Chang, Andrew and da- Chang. <laughs> and, and that was oh, the inspiration that's why you were whole asking life's me career. If I knew who he was yes. earlier, okay. That was literally you, bro. He was a, totally. He's an accountant major, which you are. Indeed. It's Indeed. a good movie too, dude. What's it called? The, it's called The Big Short. The Big Short. Yeah. Okay. And if you don't know, in, in uh, investing, when you short a company, you're basically, you, you make money if the company goes down or if the right. stock price goes down. Mm-hmm. So it's called The Big Short. Um, That's super fun. cool. Anyway, anyway, back uh, on topic. Um, Artemis Fowl. When did you, when'd you first read this, Andrew? Because Simon's never read it before. Yeah. Andrew, so, Andrew and I have read this, but like a long time ago. Right. Yeah, way long ago. I read it when I was, so it's uh, four, 14, 13 years ago, somewhere around there. Okay. Like, yeah, same here. Yeah. Um, is it, was it as you remembered it? Um, the hu- I noticed the humor a lot more this time as a, <laughs> as a kid reading it. I, the humor went straight over my head. Like I didn't realize a lot of things were tongue in cheek kind of, but, yeah, yeah. um, now reading it, I'm much more aware. And at one point there's even a single line tossed out where he's like, sell my, sell all my shares and the uh oh the the the, the pixie in the in the yeah. shuttle port exactly the shuttle port that's what it was yeah, so, yeah. so my shares i'm like so oh, my i, share. I <laughs> know, know what, what this means. means now <laughs> oh that's brilliant i did not yeah. get the humor that kind yeah. of went over my head actually it's the reread details like yeah like, i mean it's my first time reading it so i was trying to get to the story Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's 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 I guess let's get into it. What did we, Simon, as someone who's never read it, give me like some big picture stuff? What do you think? Overall, well, so I kind of thought it was fascinating that in the early this was written in two thousand four, and I mean right now we are very technical technologically advanced, and right now especially like eleven to twelve year old kids they're exposed to a bunch of technology i just find it kind of fascinating that back in 2004 a kid like that can like is as technologically advanced as he is and is able to do all the stuff that he did um well yeah, also he's like a genius right he is That's a genius. The whole thing. yeah but still um the, still it still amazed me okay would you um well okay so the whole premise of the book is, is he's trying to discover these fairies to get some gold right to get money to go the gold right um and i thought i mean so it's him and it's his partner butler. guy right butler yes. who by the yeah. way if there's ever which we didn't realize there was actually a movie of artemis fowl coming out in right. as we record this in like two weeks but so i was saying like if there was ever a movie the guy who played <laughs> butler better be some arnold schwarzenegger type dude <laughs> like a Eurasian version of Arnold Schwarzenegger. See, exactly. okay, I didn't know how to picture him, so um, I think that's how I they e- portrayed him. What are you talking I, about? I think even a narrator yeah, kind of does like a 
Oh it yeah. Almost reminds me sort of like the I guess that's the mannerisms of Right, Harry that's how they yeah, yeah, like like I think even just like from the front first scene, they kind of like paint the two of them in that time. You know what it reminds me of? Like, have you ever seen Terminator? I think it's the second movie where Arnold comes back, obviously like from the future and he talks, he, he meets like the younger, the boy version of whatever the kid he's supposed to protect, John you know, Connor, John Connor. No, Sean yeah. Connor. Uh, I think it was John Connor. John Connor. Yeah. I see. I yeah, should, yeah. I should know that, but you yeah. know what I'm talking about? And then they form like this little like duo. He's like the kid trying to teach Arnold how to be cool <laughs> and like high five. And Arnold's like this big dude that doesn't has no humor. I'll confess I haven't watched Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. So I, Okay, I never mind. So it, it people who might realize that's the that's the 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 comparison. But um so any okay, anyway, thoughts? I mean just let's just get into it. Give me, give me, give me uh, yeah, I thought think. it was okay. I, it wasn't I generally wouldn't go out of my way to read it, but um it was okay. So what parts of it did you not did it not appeal to you because you don't sound too appealed? Um, I don't know. I guess the whole fairy thing just I didn't really care for it for some reason. Um, just the whole fantasy element, I guess, wasn't really my thing. For, I don't know. Which tends to be a trend, though. You think right? it is? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A trend with you mean the fantasy trend or? Yeah, like with you. Oh yeah, yeah. It is. It is. You know, so, um, I used to like it a lot as a kid. Well, yeah. And you also enjoyed for Harry Potter. So. I did. I did. I did. Makes you wonder. But it was something different about the so on. Well, Harry Potter was about like humans, though. Yeah, that's true. Healing humans, humans and magic, too. like having. This is like. But like fairy. humans doing magic, not like right, not like fairy, fairy people. Or, or yeah, and same with all the other fantasies. Well, okay. The vampire stuff, they were kind of, I kind of view them as humans, even though they were vampires too. Right. Um, Vampire craze. But Bane. still. So, Andrew, what, what about you? Uh, specifically, Art and Spell? Yeah, that's what we're here to so, talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I thought it was very interesting how Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, was named after <laughs> a large flying chicken. No, okay. Um, <laughs> I know. Okay, I know. We said no, no spoilers for future books because spoiler alert: Andrew and I have read every single book because we love the fucking series. Um, yeah. <laughs> but do you remember the scene? I have to. I have to say this. Okay, do you remember the scene in like the fifth or sixth books where he has to explain why he's named Artemis? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad they finally included that by then. But yeah. I feel like that's something they might have. It might have come up earlier. Yeah, or sooner. It should have. Okay, but anyway, go go on. To, okay, but, yeah, so first book, um, abs- <laughs> very nostalgic for me. Um, a lot of the humor, I enjoyed the humor. It's very like kind of tongue in cheek sort of humor. So uh, I'm definitely up my alley, uh, and. You know, fantasy and that sort of genre in general is very much the stuff I I love to read. So Artemis Fowl, big fan. Um, to get into some of the specifics of the book, I really enjoyed how Artemis always has these com uh, this commentary to himself. He's like, "Wow, that's a that." I just made a joke to myself. Yeah. The, uh, oh, yeah. what, what's right. next? I'm gonna become a clown in the circus, and I'm like. Ah, uh, Artemis, you're so uh, yeah, already so naive. <laughs> Artie, I'm really so curious naive. to see how he's going to be portrayed. Yeah, yeah, I, I have not looked up anything about the movie, but I, I hope they picked good people. Um, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, do you remember? So one thing that that definitely struck me as I was reading this is how like he's supposed to be super advanced and brilliant, right? Yeah. Yes, but then if you compare his technology to the ones that we have available right now, which is, I mean, obviously it's not his fault, right? Like he has what he, what is available to him at the time. But like, if you compare it to what we have right now, it's like, it's kind of, it's almost laughable. It's just, yeah. Even just a commentary, even just a commentary of how fast technology has improved. Right. Like he walks into his computer, like his, his, his office where he has all these Mm -hmm. like state of the art things. And he talks about how like the hard drive starts spinning up and making sounds, <laughs> and the like the you know 
we don't use hard drive. Like it's just, no, just stuff like really that. You know what I mean? I no, really don't. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like all these cameras that Foley has developed, uh, Foley the Centauri, it's, um, Foley. it's supposed to be like advanced and stuff, but now we basically have that everywhere. Like, um, motion sensitive cameras and cameras that can see faster than the human eye. Like these are all things that aren't really that out of the ordinary. Yeah, so that's um, that was super interesting just to compare Foley. Dude, I love Foley, man. <laughs> Foley is great. Foley's great. Um, you know though, who's one of my favorite characters? What is Ollie? No, Mulch. Uh, oh, Mulch. Uh, yes, Mulch is boy. great. Mulch and is. Oh, dude. What did you think about him getting that troll to uh, to try to lure the fairies? What are you talking about? Didn't he get the troll that uh, Holly uh, in what's the word um, incapacitated uh, before? In order, no, no, Mulch is a dwarf dude that snuck into the house. Yeah, Mulch but, is the guy who had uh, explosive farts, basically. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Wait, who was the one that got the troll then? Oh no, uh, that was Kajin. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, that that's right, Kajin. Never mind. It's pronounced- I read as Kudjian, but yeah, yeah. Kudjian, Kudjian, Lieutenant Kudjian. Commander Kudjian, who had a needle in his face, indeed, yes, or in his neck, because yeah. Root forgot he was wearing the uh, finger pistol. Yes, definitely, nothing bad will come of that. Nope, nothing. <laughs> definitely <at all>. not. <laughs> nope. Um, I think another thing that really hit me when I finished reading it was just how short it is in retrospect. Like these things right? happen so fast, and it's like. As a kid, you're reading it, and it's like, I can't believe they fit all this into one day. And now I'm reading it, I was like, yeah, that's super believable that it fit into one day. Well, and it's also like, because as a kid, it, it I think it seemed like such a longer, bigger book. Yeah. Too, that, also, true. you know? And like, I think, it's also like, we, we read it at, at a time where we ha- hadn't read, or we didn't read, like a bunch of other books that are much, much longer. Yeah. Right, versus now, it's like, you know, anyone who's read Game of Thrones is like, all right, this, this is <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah, I, I actually I had that same thought about <laughs> the first Harry Potter book. Oh, definitely. I oh, used to like sh- brag yeah. about how long it's like. Oh, yeah, I read all the books Harry Potter. <laughs> like it's such a long book, but like you look at it now, it's like it's like barely a few hundred pages. I, I yeah. think I don't remember how many pages, but it's, it's, it's like two hundred something pages. Yeah, like that's yeah. that's, that's nothing. nothing. I mean, yeah. the last book was long. That's like a Denny's menu. Like they have like 200 pages <laughs> if you include the wine list and the, the dessert, you know? Yeah, like Denny's serves wine. <laughs> exactly. Like, as if they have a wine list. <laughs> you don't know, buddy. They might, they might have wine. Maybe, maybe. But um, so, yeah, I also enjoyed how like, uh, you know, Colfer, he does a decent job of trying to in- include like subplots in the book. Um, Little side like, stories. Yeah. Like yeah. so. Um, like his mom. <laughs> exactly. I was, that's what I was going to say. His mom being demented and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. like, Artemis' has a little conflict between that and, you know, losing his father and all that stuff. So um, that was like this whole This whole thing is about him, like, trying to get money to find his father, right? Like, that's... Yeah. So, like, it's... Yeah, you're right. How they tied those... Because, I mean, it, they, they, the story would have still worked without that. Yeah. But, but like, it made it more... I mean, I didn't really get that sense. He kind of did say in towards the end, or like that, he felt like he was giving up on his father, or had given up. But I didn't. Yeah. I guess I didn't realize that that whole thing was to get. No, his he introduces father. it from the beginning that like his father got blown up, or you know, it's like lost, right? Because of the whole cola cola thing, um, where he was like trying to import yeah. Coca Cola or so whatever it is, and right, yeah, that's like the whole reason why he's trying to get gold, right? That's like the underlying thing throughout the whole um, book pretty much it also justifies his um his morality because it, they it makes they him real from the starts yeah they, they they say from the start that his father is a criminal and when you view it through that lens like it makes a lot more sense how artemis himself doesn't have any like scruples about committing crimes because he's trying to emulate his father uh I will, you, I will i will i will say it was kind of fun how he blew up the 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 uh the whaler the boat yeah yeah you know? leaving um, the uh tracker in there and like yeah i don't even like whalers like that's why i blew it up yes <laughs> it was a japanese whaler too <laughs> 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 
Um, I will say one one thing that was kind of like, like not not that, like hypocritical, but I would say one point that whatever. Uh, you know how like the fairies are all about like you know green earth and and non pollution oh, yeah. and all that stuff. Uh-huh. I love it how within like literally the same page, right? Holly compares about like the pollution killing the dolphins and you see like the, 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 yeah. the red marks and inflammation and whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, haze above cities. But mm-hmm. then in that same, literally the same page, she's using wings that like cough out these petrol fumes into the air. Exactly. <laughs> right. Like, Cause they have the old models. And she's old like, model. but like, are you, are you a hypocrite? Yeah. Also, like Root himself, he's he's a hardcore. Like he smokes cigars all the time. No, 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 bro, bro, they're fungus cigars. <laughs> fungus cigars. Is that even a thing? Uh, it should you, be a thing. If you if you leave it for a really long time in a damp place. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> what did you think of Holly? Holly I mean, is interesting. Yeah, go ahead. Cause, Andrew. Yeah, because Holly is. <coughs> She, uh, just objectively in this story, she, she doesn't get, uh, she doesn't like, get explored a lot. She's, she's there to serve a purpose. She's the hostage. She's, um, and she's also like got this whole, I'm the first woman police officer in recon. Right. In such a long time. So I feel like that was a move on the author's part to try and attract more readers to his book. Yeah. But on top of that, um, like it's it's build up. Like she she barely gets really explored in this book, but like it le- it leaves a lot. Like this book is really good at setting up for future books because he lays out a lot of groundwork in this. There's book. a lot of yes, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I will say, bro. Like my favorite part. Well, maybe one of my favorite parts of this book is the fight between Butler and the troll. Yes, it's so good. Oh, it's so no, good, Butler and it gets videotaped the for the academy not killed him, students but... to watch. Yes, yeah. they took it for the academy. <laughs> gets like I, I just pictured like Rocky soundtrack like during that whole thing, just like yes, you go. <laughs> it really is. It really is, and it's like they they even set it up with the power graph. They're like, "What's wrong with the camera?" Oh wait, let let's like. It's like he stood up into the camera frame because you're watching yes, it from yes. Foley and Root's point they of view. better have done a good job with that in the movie rendition, man. Yes, no <laughs> kidding, man. Oh, I hope they did. Well, it's going to be released on Disney Plus, which I do want. Is it really? Yes. Disney? Wow, that means oh, I need to get hilarious. Disney Plus. Well, no, do you understand? Well, this is the only reason why I'm getting Disney Plus. <laughs> to I mean, it yeah. that or I can try and get my sister's account again. No, it's fine. I, I I still have their password, but I, I might just get it. <laughs> you, do you have a username? Yeah, I wrote it down. <laughs> wow. Really? Good, then you Never know it. when you need a Disney account, bro. Okay. <laughs> you, you can repeat it on the phone like seven times. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid if I don't write this down. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Well, I might need it because I don't remember it. So. <laughs> I don't know if I'm still logged in. I mean, wow, I can restrict to my messages that my sister sent, but I no, don't. No, it's all good. We might Because there's, there's a trial to Disney, right? So I might even just. I think it's a one week trial. Yeah. Um, just, just so get I it also, and cancel it after you watch the movie. Well, no, because I want to watch that, and then I might watch some of the Star Wars. Uh, oh yeah, okay. marathon Star Wars. But um, yeah, okay, there we go. That's the book. Any other thoughts? <laughs> that's, that's there you go. Not much um, else to talk about, it, right? Yeah. No, I mean, they're, they're, like, what is it? Um, we already mentioned mulch and everything. Yeah, I guess there. Though there was like um. That troll instant that started the whole thing for Holly is, uh, I I I guess it never really hit me until now that that whole family was kind of a, was Italian and it's just like this chubby toddler walkout and oh in the, in the restaurant yeah in the restaurant yeah because that's that that was set up like for humorous effect like it's like oh no one of them wasn't knocked out everybody hide and it's just like this little baby kid who just walks yeah. out of the bathroom. And just like points at Holly, then yawns and like goes. Yeah, to he's sleep. like, "Hello, woman," or something. Or, it's or, like, "Ciao." Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, <laughs> he goes back and falls asleep, <laughs> and then Root stops vibrating and is like livid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, like short. What? What? What's yeah, yeah, your yeah. magic? <laughs> uh, I don't. Also, I don't think it dawned on me the first time I read this that that's the same troll. Like, 
the the one that they brought at the end. Oh, I don't. I mean, I don't remember, but I have a feeling the first time I read through this, I just didn't put the that together. Yeah, yeah, no. I was like, oh, they just so happen to have another troll in captivity. (laughs) Yep. Um, conveniently overground, but anyway. Conveniently. Okay, so there you go. That's that's Artemis Fowl for you. Yep. Any 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 closing thoughts? It's a Christmas story for the ages. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. they, they they do talk about Santa Claus quite a few times. They do. Yes. <clears throat> so, cool. Uh, what's your rating for the book? See, I can't. It wouldn't be fair for me to rate it. So. No, it would. You you're a person who read it. <laughs> No, I know, yeah, but from a person who doesn't really like the fantasy genre, I that's don't. fine. That's Perfect. That's your You're rating. Biased. What? That's your rating. But it'd be kind of biased, isn't it? Aren't all no, ratings biased? Um, well, just don't make it biased. Then make it about like the, okay, fine. the writing. Um, the ra- okay, I'll give it a. And you're gonna need to defend that too. Uh, <laughs> 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 hmm. No, uh, he's coughing again. Um, I'll say. Oh, oh yeah, four we're out of five. To acknowledge it. Okay, four out of five. Okay, why not a three out of five? It wasn't a. I mean, it was it was a good book. I mean, he, in terms of his storytelling, I liked uh, his storytelling. The um, writing was good. Uh, I wouldn't. Say, I want. I don't want to say anything about character development because there are more books in the series, so I'm sure other things will be explored. Um, but uh, yeah, four out of five. Yes. All right. I think you're an easy raider, but go ahead, Andrew. What's yours? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm really flip flopping between three and four. But um, if you give it a three, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Like, so I guess. Um, how I normally rate things is that like a, th- a three is a book I could barely tolerate. So, you know, I guess, really? you know, and, and that, I mean, yeah, because I reserve two and one for like objectively bad books. Well, three, well, oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You tell me your rating and then we'll <laughs> so, talk. So yeah, that, that's why I'd say four for art as well, because they, uh, it's really good at world building. It builds up the world a lot and it kind of psychs you up for the rest of the series. So, um, as a standalone book, it might like if the series never took off, then that that would be a different story. But yes. as how it is now as a book that is a precursor to future books, it does a really good job at building up the world, introducing you to these characters, and uh, really because the way it's also written is that it's uh, written from the point of view in the future. So it's like uh, let's yeah, tell you. The story. I also forgot that. Yeah, that it's like his files, right? That they, they yeah, his files. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that that's why I'd say you know four. You would say four. Yeah. Okay. I I was debating between three point seventy five. <laughs> oh, did we get two <laughs> points? And four. Right. I'm gonna say four with a with a caveat or with an asterisk of of, of why I'm saying four. I think. So if we're, we're doing like out of five, right? So yeah. three is in the middle, which means three for me is neutral, right? It's like average. Mm-hmm. It, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. It was just like, all right, it's just like any other, it's like an ordinary book. Yeah. Which is why I was considering ordinary. I actually, so because I like the characters and I connected with it, that's why mm-hmm. it's a, you know, like a four. Right. Um, Butler. <laughs> yeah. No. More more mulch, honestly. More mulch. Oh, mulch is so good. I like him, dude. But um yeah, and then the five would obviously be something I you know, a lot more of a yeah. reaction that I couldn't, you know, and uh, it, it would consist like multiple multiple reads. Yeah. Or you would have you know, it on some, your bookshelf. Exactly. Something I would actually like buy a copy of and and refer back to. So mm. okay, so yeah, that's okay. So we're all saying four. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I said I think you're you're an easy grader, Simon. Right. No. <laughs> I think no. it's like no, it's it's like um good reads and like rotten tomato ratings versus like I don't know, what's a what's a easy like like Netflix site or something. You know what I mean? Like uh 
Goodreads oh. is 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 notoriously harsh. They're very thorough with their ratings. Yeah. Into, yes, they are. Um, that being said, will but those Time are, Wars I mean, those five. are readers. So what do you expect? Yeah. What do you think we are? I know we read books. Yes, I thought we were the music makers. We are the music makers, <laughs> oh, as well as the journey takers. <laughs> The uh, uh, um um Andrew Dreamers of Dreams. No, the the Bounty Breakers. <laughs> How do you not? I, I threw that reference at you. <laughs> Literally tossed it oh, underhand. H- hence, you break the boundary. Oh my god! <laughs> <sighs> you make me sad. All right, we need to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. 